G'day, welcome to the Tech Math Channel. I'm Josh. How fast can you solve this easy algebra question? We have 3x plus 5 divided by 2 equals 13, and we're trying to work out what the value of x is. Think you can solve that in 3 seconds? Why don't you give it a go? Alright, time's up. Did you get the answer that x is equal to 7? If you did, congratulations, that's the correct answer. If not, don't worry, because right now I'm going to show you the easy way of solving these types of algebraic equations really, really rapidly. So we'll start off by having a look at this example here. We have 3x plus 5 divided by 2 equals 13. And if we were to look at this uh, particular equation, we can see the order in which we do things. We start with x, and then what we do is we are multiplying that by 3, we're adding 5, we're dividing by 2, and that is equal to 13. Now the trick to solving this really quickly is you just start at the end point, that 13 there, and then we're going to work our way backwards towards x. That is, as you can see, we're working back right to left. But as we go along, we're going to be doing the opposite of the operation that's given. So instead of dividing by 2, we're going to multiply by 2. Instead of adding 5, we're going to subtract 5. Instead of multiplying by 3, we are going to divide 3, and we will get our answer. So let's go through and do this. Okay, so 13 multiplied by 2 is 26, minus 5 is 21, divided by 3, that gives us our answer, x is equal to 7. Pretty simple, right? And you can do this really, really quickly. Now, if you like this trick, first off, give a big thumbs up. But if you're just getting used to it, what about we have a look at a few more examples right now? So first off, we have 5 with x plus 3 in brackets, and this is all over 10, and this is equal to 6. Can you work out what the value of x is? Secondly, we have x squared um, plus 4, and this is all over 8. And this is equal to 5. Can you work out the value of x for that one? And then finally, we have 6x plus 3 over 2 is equal to 6. And can you work out the value to that one also? So, what about you pause the video and give these ones a go, and then come back and see how you went. Can you employ this trick successfully? All right, so how did you go? So we have a look at the first one. We have 5x plus 3 over 10 equals 6. So starting with our 6 here, we are going to work through and do the opposite. We're going to go 6, multiply by 10, then we're going to go through and divide by 5, subtract 3, and we'll get our answer. So 6 multiplied by 10 is 60, divided by 5 is 12, minus 3, we have x is equal to 9. How'd you go with that one? Good? Oh, cool. All right, let's have a look at the next one. We have x squared plus 4 over 8 equals 5. So this particular question, we're going to start with our 5 here. We're going to multiply by 8. Then what we're going to do is we are going to subtract 4, and then we're going to work out the square root of that, because the opposite of squared is squared root. So let's go through and do this. We have 5 multiplied by 8. 5 multiplied by 8 is 40. We have subtract 4, so 40 subtract 4 is 36, and the square root of 36, well, we have x is equal to 6. You good? You got 2 for 2 so far? Cool. Let's have a look at the final question here. We have 6x plus 3 over 2 is equal to 6. So once again, we're going to start at our 6 here, and we're going to work our way backwards. First off, we're going to multiply by 2, then we're going to subtract 3, then we're going to divide by 6. Cool. So let's do that. 6 multiplied by 2 is equal to 12. 12 minus 3 is equal to 9. 9 divided by 6, we have x is equal to 1 and a half. How'd you go with that one? Anyway, that's the easiest way to go through and solve these types of algebraic equations. A really quick, fast way of doing it. If you like this video, please remember to hit the like button and be sure to subscribe. A big shout out to my patrons and thank you for watching. Anyway, we'll see you next time. Bye.